my fellow hobbyists, makers, and 3D printer enthusiasts. Today, we must ask ourselves not what our 3D printers can do for us, but what we can do for our 3D printers. Hold on, it's my producer. Hello? Yes, I'm working on the video. I'm on the fourth take of the intro. It's going pretty good until you called. Thought I asked the... Of course I asked the question. They want to know what? How could they possibly... I'm not even done with the video yet. Okay, okay, I'll tell them. I'll tell them. Okay, bye. To answer your question is to get SolidWorks for Makers on the 3D Experience platform for only $10 a month or $100 a year. But wait, there's more, and I'll tell you all about it right after the intro. Within home 3D printers gaining popularity in the last couple of years, a question I see more and more is, what software do I need to be able to design my own stuff? The most common programs I see in response are FreeCAD, Tinkercad, Blender, and Fusion 360. SolidWorks is rarely mentioned. I assume this is due to the cost of the program feeling out of reach for most hobbyists. Great news, that is a thing of the past. Now you can get SolidWorks Professional for makers for only $10 a month or $100 a year. This is not some watered down version either. We are talking full on SolidWorks Professional with a few minor things that separate the maker's version from the commercial version. I will tell you all about that, but first, let's look at how to access it and install it on your PC. So hop onto the computer with me here and let's get started. Open your browser and Google SolidWorks for Makers. It should come up with 3D Experience SolidWorks for Makers as the first result. I also have the link in the video description if it doesn't come up for you. Near the top of the page, click on the blue button that says Get Started. If the page doesn't load, make sure you disable the site in your ad blocker, then refresh the page. From here, you can see all that is included I will get to that later. For now, select which subscription plan you want. If you are unsure, start with the monthly plan. This gives you some time to try it out. The next page is just a rundown of what you are getting for the price. Go ahead and click on Go to Payment. Now you need to create your 3D Experience ID. Fill out all the required information, then click Register. This and the payment process will be pretty self-explanatory. I've already gone through this part, so we will skip ahead. When you are done, you will get a couple of emails, an order confirmation, and one that looks like this. Do not delete this email. It contains a direct link to your 3D Experience page. Click on the link and it will take you back to the login page. Fill in your information and click Login. Now you are in your 3D Experience platform. To install SolidWorks, click on the round icon on the top left of the page. A slide out menu will appear. Find the icon labeled 3D Experience SolidWorks Professional and click on it. Then click on the SolidWorks Connected icon. A page will appear asking you to download the 3D Experience Launcher. Go ahead and download and install it now. When it's done, you will get a little blue icon in your taskbar. This is how you will access your 3D Experience page from now on. Click on SolidWorks Connected again then click on Install All Roles Containing SolidWorks Connected. Go ahead and run through the beginning of the setup. You may get an error asking you to install Java Runtime Environment. Don't close the error box. Click on the second link provided. I also have this link in the video description. As of the time I'm recording this video, this is how the page should appear. Ensure OpenJDK11 and OpenJ9 are selected. Then scroll down and click on the Other Platforms button. The page will refresh, then scroll down till you get to version 11.0.10.9 for your OS. In my case, it's Windows X64. Download and install the MSI files for both the JRE and JDK. When completed, go back to the SolidWorks installation and click on OK. The error should go away and you can proceed. It will download and install all the necessary files required. This will take a while, around 20 minutes, depending on your internet speed. When it's finished, you can close the install page and launch SolidWorks from the SolidWorks Connected icon in the window. When the program opens, you will be greeted with a welcome screen in the middle and a slide out with a 3D Experience browser on the right. Go ahead and accept all cookies. Then you can click out of that, and your Windows Firewall will ask you for access for your network. Click Allow Access. Now you will have a blank SolidWorks screen. 
Congratulations, you now have the most powerful and capable 3D CAD software you will ever need. Let's talk about what else is included. SolidWorks Visualize is a tool for creating photorealistic renders of your designs. It gives you total control of the environment, lighting, cameras, and the appearance of each individual component, down to the colors, materials, and textures. You could render out single images of any resolution you desire or create animations. That's right, photorealistic exploded view animations of your multi-component parts where the number of components is limited only by your imagination and how many horsepowers you have under the hood of your PC. XShape is a browser-based subdivision modeler for shaping 3D geometry. Here you can break away from the traditional 3D CAD workflow known as parametric modeling and begin creating more organic shapes by dragging points, edges, and surfaces to sculpt out whatever geometry you can imagine. I have not tinkered with it much, but from what I've seen in some tutorials and demos, the power this has to create mind-melting 3D geometry, honestly, well, melts my mind. XDesign is a browser-based parametric modeler offering similar tools to SolidWorks. This doesn't have the raw capabilities of SolidWorks, but is a great tool to use if you are on the go and you don't have your PC with you. How about we say you're at a friend's house and their toddler breaks a wheel on their favorite toy choo-choo train? No problem. XDesign can be opened in any browser. There, you can whip up a new wheel for your friend to 3D print, and you become a hero. And yes, I did just assume that your friend has a 3D printer. If they don't, tell them to get one and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I hear the Artillery Hornet is a great 3D printer for the price. The last notable tool included is NC Shop Floor Programmer. This has NC and CAM tools for multi-axis milling, turning, and wired EDM machining. I haven't dabbled with it too much, but at first glance, it looks way over my head. And no, that's not just a joke about my height. I will have to learn this stuff pretty soon, as I will have access to a CNC router in the near future. Finally, we have Collaborative Industry Innovator, Collaborative Business Innovator, and Platform Manager. These just sound like corporate buzzwords for enterprise solutions. I don't know what they are and what they do, and I don't use them. Your mileage may vary depending on your application. Don't worry, I hear you all asking about the differences between the maker's version and the commercial version of SolidWorks, and it won't leave you on the edge of your seats any longer. The only thing I've been able to discover through a bit of research and having used both versions is that in the maker's version, you cannot install third-party add-ons and the maker's version will watermark your save files, indicating that it is from the maker's version. As far as I have found, the watermark is only really visible in the assembly parts tree and on the bottom left of any printed drawings. You can still open and edit files that were saved in the commercial version, but once it is saved in the maker's version, it can no longer be edited in the commercial version. I personally like SolidWorks over the other options that are currently available. The tools and features within the program far surpass the capabilities of the competition, from very simply being able to reference an off-plane edge or feature to the user-friendly interface. The simplicity and usability of the system is just too satisfying. SolidWorks also allows you to save directly to your hard drive or to the cloud. And when you do save to the cloud, it automatically makes a backup on your hard drive. The ability to use either option is a really nice touch over some of the other software that forces you to only use the cloud. The overall workflow feels intuitive and creates an environment where parts can be designed very quickly. All that being said, it's not all unicorns and rainbows. The installation process as seen earlier is rather involved and can be confusing. The 3D Experience platform website can be difficult to navigate with the way it's laid out. This is also a subscription plan. And although I generally do not like subscription-based software, you get enormous value for the money and it's well worth it. I mean, seriously, you're getting the industry standard in mechanical design software for less than a typical TV streaming service. So switch today and go from binge watch and chill to 3D design and skill. And I'm going to finish with that. There's just too much to talk about in one single video. I will be making future videos showing the basics of how to design in SolidWorks. So be sure to get subscribed and turn on all notifications so you don't miss it. And as always, thanks for watching and happy 3D printing.